Alright, let's see if Take Profit 1 can get hit. We just came into this inverse fair value gap. We're making good reactions off of that. So let's see if we can take out these highs right here. On the five minute, we're kind of sweeping this high right here. But on the one minute, it looks like we can break above it. We've been accumulating for the past couple minutes. Let's see if we can break and hold above this high. It's looking pretty good. Take Profit 1's about to get hit. Take Profit 1 just got hit. We're up $80 so far. I'm trimming one contract. All right. My one contract just got filled. All right, we it looks like we want more. Oh my god, this thing is pushing. Let's check spy. Spy's holding us up too. Tesla's coming up. Oh Tesla! Oh my god, Apple's looking good. We'll see if Take Profit Two can get hit. It looks like it's about to get hit already. I feel like we can definitely hit this. Let's get it, man. I took a Tesla trade two today. I didn't record it. I'm up three fifty for the day. Let's get it. We're up $100 so far on this Apple trade. We have a fair value gap right here we could be coming into to retest. Um, my stop is below this low right here. So if we come below that and break below it, then I'll get out. Trade's taking a little long, but doesn't matter. That's what you got to do. You got to stay patient in this shit. It'll end up hitting TP too. We're just retracing a little bit to go higher. We want to push price down into a discounted area to fill more orders to push higher. It is what it is. When you trade smart money concepts, you have to have patience. If you don't have patience, you're fucked. If this big bearish um, inbounds right here, this fair value gap, we came right into it again and shot right up. So hopefully we can break these highs up here to break structure back to the upside. But if we continue to look weak and stay weak, then I'll most likely get out. All right, Spy just shot up. All right, Apple's looking good. Hopefully, we can hold and break above these highs right here. That's what we want to see. All right, we just held. We just broke above these highs. We'll definitely see higher now. Just because we waited so long, I'm going to take one more contract off right here just to be safe. All right, I took my second contract off. We have one runner remaining right now. We're up $50 on this last contract. Oh, yeah. Alright, we came into this accumulation zone right here. We were wicking it for a second, but we're pushing back up right now. We gotta hold above these highs, and then we can definitely see higher. Alright, we're coming back up to take profit too. Let's see if we can hold above these highs. Oh my god. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. We still have that one contract left. We're up 130 on the day so far. And $60 on this last contract. Oh my god, Take Profit 3 just got broken through. $72 on this last contract. $150 on the day so far on this Apple trade. I took a Tesla trade earlier today. I was up $350. I didn't get to record it though. Alright, I'm going to just take all my profits off right now. Just to be safe. I'm done for the day. Um, pretty good trade on Apple. We could probably see higher, but I'm happy with what I got. Um, it was literally almost a sniper trade. Barely didn't even go into drawdown at all. We hit all take profits. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for another, or it's actually Saturday. I'm retarded. It's Friday. We didn't really have that much news today. I'll be back on Monday with another trading video. Let's get it.